Throw uh, mini bands into the works today. So if you have a mini band, go ahead and grab the mini band if you have one. If you don't, no worries. I do have an alternative. And welcome to some circuit training. Uh, let's go ahead and start with our warm up. And uh, we are going to focus on our lower body today, our shoulders, and our core. So let's make sure that we have all of those areas nice and warm. So we're going to start off with a, a hamstring stretch. So stand with your feet about hip distance apart. And just reach your left leg forward with the heel down and the toe facing up. And just reach your hip back. Keep the back nice and flat. And just sort of scoop down the leg. Keep this front leg straight. Keep the heel dug into the ground so you're stretching the hamstring. And just drop the hip back, bending this back knee. And just a little scoop down the leg and stand back up. Real simple here. Good, let's go ahead and switch sides. Same thing, the right leg is extended and we're gonna reach the hip back and just scooping down the leg, feeling that stretch through our hamstrings. Get them ready to rock. Good, couple more here and reach it, excellent. And stand nice and tall, grab your right leg, reach your left arm to the sky. Make sure we're tucking the tailbone here and we're reaching the knee toward the floor, so we're feeling that stretch through the quad. Let's go ahead and switch sides here. Just a few, couple seconds each side. Just think of reaching the knee down, pulling that foot back, heel goes toward the glute. And reaching the opposite arm up, tracking the bicep along the ear. Good, let's go wide, stance. Interlock your fingers and push your palms up. Get nice and tall. Good, tucking the tailbone, reaching up, pressing through the palms, and tip it to the right side. Feel that left side of your torso engaging, elongating. Good, let's go up and over to the other side. Get that nice stretch through the torso, through the obliques. Good, back up to the middle, look up at your hands, press it up, and now lean back, press your hip forward, squeeze your butt. Good, stand tall, unlock your hands, hinge at the hip and let's fold forward. And just come on down and hang here for a second. Good, breathing, make sure the legs are straight here so you're pressing your knees back. Again, we're feeling that stretch of the hamstrings, a little bit through the lower back. Let's walk both hands over towards your right foot. Uh, keep the leg straight, keep pressing that knee back and think chest to the knee. Good, and then swing it over to the other leg through our hamstrings. Good, good. And let's go ahead and bring the hands right down the middle. Let's bend the left leg. Sink that hip as low as you can. Try to make sure that this left knee is tracking toward the second toe. Let's go up and let's go over to the right side, dropping it down. Good, up and over. Sending that hip down. That knee bend out. Up and over. Good, and let's just stay in this position and keep your hip as low to the floor as you can. And then we're just gonna switch from side to side. Just switching back and forth, keeping those hips down just as low as you can. Good, let's straighten both legs again as you drop your head. Let's go ahead and walk the feet now to about hip distance and give me that deep squat. Good, drop those hips down, keep your chest up, push your knees out, pressing your palms together, breathing. Good, grab your right ankle with your left hand and rotate and reach that right arm up to the sky. Good. And switch sides right here. Good. And elbows back inside the knees, hands to the floor, lean forward, push the knees out a little bit further. Feel that stretch through the groin, through the lower back. And let's go ahead and rock back to your heels and straighten both legs again as we drop the head. And then give me a slight bend to the knee, curl the spine, roll it up one vertebrae at a time, and let's get those shoulder rolls going. Up, back, down, forward. And we're gonna go a few times one way, real easy, and then we'll go a few times back the other way. Real simple. Good, hands on your hips, chin to your chest, and roll your neck around. Good, and in reverse direction. Awesome. Good, looking straight ahead, let's go ahead and get those shoulders loose, so right foot back. Just swing the right arm around, just whipping it around. Like you're playing a guitar. Switch direction. Good, and swing that arm across your chest, give it a hug. Hold this, five, four, three, 
two, one, good. Let's step the left leg back and let's swing that left arm around. Same idea, just letting gravity do the work here. Whipping it around and switch direction. Good. And swing that arm across your chest. Give it a hug. Hold this for five, four, three, two, one. Good. Shake it out. Let's put our hands on our hips. All right. And let's roll the hips around. Good. About five or four. <laughs> three rotations one way and three rotations the other. I could talk today. Hey. Good. And one. And lastly, let's take it to the knees. So put your legs together, put your hands on top of your knees, and just draw circles with the knees. Right here. Good. And then switch direction just like that. Excellent. Take that right in some jumping jacks. Tap the fingers, slap the thighs. So today we're going to do four circuits. Two circuits have two exercises, two circuits have three exercises. Two circuits are going to be Tabata, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, blah, eight rounds. And then two circuits are going to be 40 seconds on, 15 seconds off, four rounds for one, three rounds to the other, and that would be three exercises there. And let's go into these seal jacks. Anyway, like I said, we're going to be focusing on legs, core, a little bit of shoulders, got a little bit of chest in there as well. Total body ultimately shake it out. Okay, so let me go over these first two exercises. This one is going to be a Tabata round. So remember Tabata is eight rounds of 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Exercise one is going to be a half of a burpee, a half burpee. So we start in a squat position. And we're just going to put the hands to the floor, hop out and hop back in to that squatted position. So from the squat position, my hands go to the floor. I hop both feet out into a plank, hop back into that squat, and just reach my hands up off the floor. If you need to modify, from here, put your hands down, step out, step in, and come into that squat position. That's number one. Number two, it's gonna be jumping lunges. Woo! Yes, yes, you know these. So here is a full jump lunge. Right leg back, left leg forward. I drop that right knee down, I jump and I switch, and now the left knee is down. And I just keep jumping back and forth, switching legs, and trying to tap that knee each and every time. If, when, you need to modify, a couple of ways to do that. One way is to drop down, hop both feet together, and then both feet out. Together and out. Together and out. Another way is just real simple here. Step back into a reverse lunge. You could do a little hop when you step both feet together. Step back and a little hop at the top. It's just that simple. We're going to go 20 on, 10 off, starting with our half burpees. Get ready because we're going in five, four, three, squat position. Here we go. Pop it out and in, out, in. Now try to keep the knees when you're hopping them in outside the elbows. Look at that nice wide stance. Good. Transfer your weight to your hands and then transfer them to your feet. Keep it going. Three, two, one. And time. And it works through the hips, quads, core, just a little bit of everything. Jumping lunges. Three, two, one. Step that right foot back. Drop the knee down, jump and switch right here. Now speed is not the name of the game here. Keeping your chest up. Easy jump between, again the modification, hop together, hop out, hop together, hop out, or just a good full jumping lunge, three, two, one, time. It's just like that. Six more rounds, three of each. Get down to our squat position. Here we go. Hop it out and in, and in. We're connecting our breath to the movement Remember, if you need to, step out, step in, squat, and squat. Keep it going. Three, two, one, time. Shake it out. Yep. Get those quads fired up. Here we go. Jumping lunges. Push the floor away. Really drop that back knee down. Try to tap the floor each time. And when you need to modify, go for it. 
Chest is up. Time. Woo. We are halfway there on our first round. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hop it out. Hop it in. Keep that breath active. Good. Come on, five seconds. Three, two, one. Yeah. This is one way to start a workout. Here we go. Three, two, one. Go. Right here. Let your arms swing with the legs. You could chop one at a time or chop both. Like so. Modify when you need to. Remember, we still have this version. A little step back and a little hop at the top. Time. One more of each. Shoo. Here we go. Squat. Hop it out. Keep it working. Keep it working. Keep your breath. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Last set. Jumping lunges. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Really get that knee down. Think of two 90 degree angles. Come on. Woo. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. All right. That was our first round. Let this time run out. All right. Grab a sip of water. Towel off if you need to. I'm gonna sit up for our next round. So this is gonna be 40 seconds on, 15 seconds off. So a lot of work to a little rest. This one's gonna be tough, especially when you're working legs. But we're gonna be working legs, core and shoulders in this next round. So there are three exercises. Let me go ahead and show those to you. Exercise one is gonna be a rotating thruster. So this is total body, but legs and shoulders, core, just killer. So this really hits everything we're working on. You're gonna squat, rotate, and press. Okay, so let me show you this without the dumbbells so I don't kill myself here. Dumbbell, so we squat, and when we come up, we're turning the hip, pivoting, if we're turning to the left, we're pivoting the right heel, and we're driving those dumbbells, biceps to the ears. Square up, squat, boom, we rotate to the other side, okay? Get a little hip activation here, legs, core, shoulders, all of that. Then, we're gonna go sprinter hops, similar to what we were doing with our jump lunges, but now we got this straight leg back, we're um, bending this front knee, leaning forward, nice straight line from my shoulder to my heel. And all I'm gonna do is take this back knee, drive it to my chest, and hop. Notice if my right leg is back, my right arm is forward. When I hop, I switch those arms, okay? 20 seconds on each leg. And then lastly, with a lighter dumbbell, or no dumbbell, we got some windmills. I've been leaning on these a lot, because they're just one of my favorite core and shoulder exercises. So I got a wide stance. My right foot is turned out about 45 degrees. I'm gonna bottom load, so my right arm is gonna be loaded. You can load the top arm if you prefer. It's a little harder that way. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push my hip to the left, right? Away from that angled out foot. Left arm is extended overhead. I'm gonna reach down, trying to keep both legs straight. Look up at this top hand. Drive back up to the starting position, reaching this hand the whole time. So we're not doing something like this, okay? This hand stays extended, always reaching to the ceiling. That'll be 20 seconds on each side. Remember, you can bottom load or top load. That's what we're doing, we're doing those three. Rotating thrusters, sprinter hops, windmills, 
40 seconds on, 15 seconds off, let's get to it. Here we go, get your dumbbells ready. Three, two, one, go. We squat, turn, press, square it up. And press, now use the power of your legs coming out of that squat to punch those dumbbells overhead. All right, so the dumbbells are being forced overhead from the legs. Push the ground away, punch. Wrist turn back, square it up, switch sides. We got about 15 seconds. Drop it and punch. Remember, anytime we punch overhead, biceps drive along the ears. Give me one more here. Boom, three, two, one. That's a 15 second break. Yeah, those do the trick. Big moves like that, compound movements. We just recruit so much muscle fiber there. They're great movements. Here we go, right leg is back, right arm forward. Little hop, step back, hop, step it back. Just a little push off that left leg, land lightly. Remember, when you jump, it's more about the landing than it is anything else. So really focus, feeling the bottom of your foot on the ground. Switch legs, right here. Bop, step it back, step it back. Now, if you're thinking, hey Michael, how do I make this harder? Here's how, drop down, boom, down, boom. You might be thinking, nah, I'm gonna stay with this time. But if you want to intensify that exercise, drop that back knee down. All right, we got windmills happening. Wide stance, angle your right foot out. I'm gonna bottom load. Remember, push the hip to the left first as you descend. Look up, drive up, reach up with this top arm. Good. So we're working hip flexors. We're working core obliques. We're also stretching through the hamstring, a little bit through the lower back, switch sides. You're gonna find that one side is probably tighter than the other. This is my tight side. So if you need to bend a knee, bend the knee on the angled out foot. In this case, I would be bending my left knee if I need to, keeping that right knee straight. Three, two, one, time. And that was our first round. Three more. 15 seconds goes by so fast. <laughs> Let's load those dumbbells up. Three, two, one. Drop it, punch it. Return. Yeah. And back, come on. When you descend into this squat, keep your chest up. Think about elbows to the knees and then punch out, leading with the chest. Just to maintain that nice neutral spine. We got about 10 more seconds. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. We are back to our sprinter hops. Right leg back, right arm forward. Three, two, one. Go, snap those arms. Hop it up, land light. Use that momentum from that back leg. Push the floor away. Remember what I said, land light. Nice and light. Three, two, one. Switch sides, right to it, let's go. Make sure this back knee, back leg is straight. What we're not doing is we're not leaning back like this. We're leaning forward, reaching that back leg back. Time. All right, we're back to our windmills. Wide stance, right toe turned out, left toe straight ahead, push the hip to the left. Let's go, right here. And drive it up. Good, really reach that top arm up. So we're getting some shoulder mobility here. 
along with everything else that this exercise is good for. Three, two, one, switch sides, right to it. As you can see, this right shoulder, super tight, and my left hamstring, super tight. Keep the core engaged. Three, two, one, time. That was halfway through this first round. Big breaths. Grab your dumbbells. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Drop it and punch it. Keep your balance. Good. When you're squatting, you really want to make sure that the knees are pressing out toward the second toe. The tendency is to crush in with the knees. We really want to avoid that. Keep it going. Push them out. Come on. About five seconds. Three, two, one. Rest it up. Good, breathe. Here we go. Three, two, one. Good. Here. Come on. Drive that knee. Push off the floor. Land lightly. Really work in that front leg. One more. Switch sides. Go. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. One more round of these three. Oh no, we got our windmills. What am I saying? Let's do it. Wide stance. Turn it out. Right here. Let's go. And reach it up. Reach it up. Now, if you're feeling really good, one thing you could do here is go down the middle, right in between the legs and back up. It's a little harder than going to the side. So if you feel like this and you need more challenge, go down the middle, switch sides. I'm too tight on this side to do that, but if you're feeling it, go for it. Come on. Three, two, one, time. All right, now we got our final round of these three. Then we're gonna go mini bands, some core, some chest press. Here we go, three, two, one. Let's do it. Squat and pop. Come on, use your legs. Good. Drop it straight down. Boom, like you're in an elevator. Straight down. And then punch. 20 seconds. If you have trouble getting deep in these squats, widen your stance. Turn your toes out. Give me one more. Three, two, one. Time. All right, we're back to our sprinters. Three, two, one. Snap and hop. Come on. Push the floor. Press right through the ball of the foot. And when you land, we go ball and then heel. And really control it. Feel your calf working. Switch sides. Go. Exhale. We got 10 more seconds. Three, two.
two, one time. All right, we got one more of our windmills. And then you get a little break while I go over our third circuit. Right here. Come on. And up. You might notice this palm here, this top hand. You might notice the palm wants to rotate. If you're feeling that happen, go for it. Let that happen. And switch sides. And back, come on. Remember, you initiate this movement by pushing your hip away from that angled out foot. Five, four, three, two, one, and you are done. All right, that is a break. Enjoy that. I'm gonna set up our timer for our next round. So we're gonna stay in our 40, 20, or 40, 15 that is, work to rest ratio. But this time, time is gonna allow us, oh no, you know, we could do four. We can do 12. I thought we'd only have time for three rounds for nine sets, but we got time, we're doing good. All right, <laughs> not what you guys wanted to hear. <laughs> it's all right, you got it. Okay, next, mini bands. We're gonna do three different movements. Works best, if the mini band is around the arch of your feet, okay? First movement, we're gonna squat and then lift the leg out. Squat and lift it out as high as you can. Squat and lift it. This one might be a little bit easier if they're up by the knees here, below or above the knee, but we squat and we lift, and we squat and we lift. When I say change it up, from there, we're gonna go into jacks, hop it out and hop it in. And then the third change up is gonna be marches. Just lifting one leg up at a time, okay? The jacks and the marches need the band around the arches. So if you can do these with around the arches, go for it. If not, just lift it up toward the knee and then adjust as you need to. From there, we're gonna go into an elbow plank. From here, with a fairly wide stance, you're gonna take your right hand under your right shoulder. Press up to a full high plank. One push up, drop down, and then put your left hand under your left shoulder, drive it up with a push up, and then back down. Now obviously, this can also be done from your knees if you need to. I know 40 seconds is a long time, so what you can do is when you're in that high plank, you can take a little time here before you execute that push up. Try to shoot for at least five to 10 push up somewhere in there. And then finally, we're gonna do a hollow body variation. So we're gonna attack the core. And I'm gonna tell you what those are right before we do it. So, so you'll know then. All right, next is our mini bands. Get your mini bands ready. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. We go squat and a reach. Squat and a reach. Squat, press it out. Get nice and deep in those squats. Lift that sucker out as high as you can. Keep it going, three, two, one, and now jacks right here. Just pushing against that mini band. Keep that going. Five, four, slight bend to the knees, hips are back, two, one, march it out right here. Drive that knee up. The left knee is lifted, the right arm extends forward. Three, two, one, and time. Now, if that first one, that squat with reach is too much, just do the jacks for 20 seconds and then do the marches for 20 seconds. All right, elbow planks. Three, two, one, right here. Rise up, push up, back down, switch arms. Push up, down, switch arms. Drop to your knees if you need to. Remember when you're doing the push-up, it's essentially a moving plank. So make sure your hip and chest move 
together. Keep it going. We got about 10 more seconds. Yeah. Whoo. These ones get you. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, roll over. From here, we're gonna extend one leg at a time. It's gonna be fairly easy, so keep those shoulders up. Right here, hands by your hips. Extend, keep that foot close to the ground, draw it in. Switch legs, draw it in. If you can manage to do this without setting your head on the ground, that's great, because you get those shoulders up and you really feel that contraction. But if it bugs your neck, you can put one hand behind your head, sort of ease that tension off the neck. Or if you need to, just go ahead and rest your head on the ground, but still keep tailbone tucked and keep reaching. We got 10 more seconds. Ooh, come on, come on. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Grab those mini bands. Whew. Remember, if the squat with lateral extension, you don't get enough with the mini bands, just do jacks and marches. Otherwise, we're here and here. Lead with the blade of the foot. Breathing into it. Now, let's go into the jacks right here. Slight bend to the knee, butt is back. That's right. Keep it going. Three, two, one. March it out right here. Breathe. Three, two, one. Time. Good. All right, we're back to our plank push-up combo. Elbow plank to start. Three, two, one, go. Rise up. You can hold that plank for a beat. Drop down, up, back down, switch arms. Excellent, come on. Now even, even your trainer's gonna drop to his knees here because that's a lot of push-ups. So do that. Go to your knees if you need to. We got about 10 more seconds. I'm gonna rise up now. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Good, let's roll it over. All right, now we're gonna go extension and draw one knee in at a time always returning to that full extension on each leg. If this is too much, do the previous version. Right here. Yeah, this one really gets in there. Keep those shoulders up as much as you can. You're gonna feel this one. Hang in there. Keep your lower back on the ground. And if you need to, just come into here and go back to the previous version. Otherwise, keep working it, because we got about 10 more seconds. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. Woo! Mm, that gets into the core like crazy. All right, let's get back to our mini bands. All right, so this time, let's just do jacks and marches, so around the arches for your jacks right here. 20 seconds. Come on. You know, sometimes I gotta change it up on the fly. Keep it going. Ooh, there's those hips and glutes. Three, two, one, and right here. Now, if you don't have a mini band, I should have said this earlier, but you could do those squat and reaches without the mini band. Otherwise, we're still right here. 10 more seconds. Get them going, come on. Three, two, one, time. All right, we're back to our high to low plank with the push-up. Yeah. 
Here we go. Three, two, one, elbows. We rise up. Keep that tailbone tucked under. Push up. Your belly button, right, and your chest should move together. Even if you're on your knees, belly button, chest, move together. Come on. Make sure we're not shrugging here. Drop those shoulders down. Get those lats working. Ten more seconds. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. All right. We are back to our hollow variations. Next, we're going to rock. So from this tuck position, we're just going to rock forward and back. Let's go. Good. Now, if this is too uncomfortable or you're just not feeling it, you could just simply hold as well. That will most definitely get your core fired up. Or if you prefer those other versions, go for it. Whew. All right, 15 seconds. Yep. I am feeling it. 10 seconds. Come on. Ah. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Son of a gun. All right, one more of each of these. Mini bands, grab them. So like I said, if you don't have mini bands, just do this and lift. And this and lift. All right, back to our jacks. Let's go. Right here. Remember, knees are slightly bent. Hips are pushed back slightly. You're in the ready position, the athletic position. Ready for anything. Three, two, one. Let's march it out. Come on. Really drive that knee up. Feel those glutes and hips. Working core, working. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. That's about enough of that. Shoo. All right, back to our high to low plank with push up. Here we go. Three, two, elbows. Rise up, push up. Back down. Switch arms. Back down. And just think of control in every aspect of this movement. Don't let the hips rock around like this too much. Keep it all dialed in. I'm not interested in how many push-ups. Just real good, controlled, focused push-ups. Drop it to my knees. Right here. Back down. Three, two, one, done. All right. Oh, we're back to our hollow variation. All right, last one, we're gonna rock with straight legs. Oh, or any of the previous versions, right? So now we're here. You could jackknife this, make it a little bit easier. You could go back to the tuck version, or you could just simply hold, or you could be reaching. Okay, any of those versions will do. You want more? Reach your arms overhead. Oh, oh, oh man. Shoo. Come on. Attacking the core today. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Well done. We're not done done though. We have our fourth and final circuit. All right, so we're gonna finish with Tabata. We're gonna do two movements, actually three. But the second movement is gonna be divided into two different movements, similar but different. First ones, good old skater hops. You guys know those, I use my mat. Step my right foot back, left foot forward. Start at one end of my mat, I hop over to the other end, and then back. You can tap your back foot, 
or you could just let it hover. And if you want to add extra intensity, tap the opposite toe, okay? That's the first one. Second one is going to be a regular mountain climber followed by a double leg mountain climber. Yes, plank position, pump the knees regular, hop both feet in and both feet out, double. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Obviously, the second movement is gonna be 10 seconds each for regular and double. Let's talk, more going. Here we go, three, two, one, right here. Go, hop and back. Let's tap the toes. Let's get a little hip and knee flexion in there. Come on, 10 more seconds. Let the arms swing with the legs. Three, two, one. Whew. Regular and double leg. Here we go. Three, two, one. Go. Pump them. Keep the tailbone tucked. Keep your knees close to the ground. Keep your shoulders over your hands. Let's not get up like this, okay? No. No, no, no. We fight that. Switch the doubles. Notice I'm not hopping my feet in too far. I'm just hopping to where my knees bend to 90 degrees. Time. Back to it. Here we go. Right here. Let's do it. Push the floor away. Land lightly. Ninja-like. Cat-like. Control it. Three, two, one, time. All right. Here we go. Pump them. Breathe. Tuck your tailbone. Extend through the elbows. Shoulders over the hands, doubles. Three, two, one. All right, y'all, that was halfway. Two more minutes. But we are done. Three, two, one. Let's go. Come on. Keep it going. Five. Four, three, two, one, time. Hey, we got this. All right, here we go, mountain climbers. Let's do it. Lean forward and doubles. Three, two, one. All right, we got one more of each. Let's finish this up. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on. Breathe. Five seconds. Three, two, one. And this is it. Three, two, one. Let's go. Tailbone is tucked. Hip is not lifting up. And doubles. Come on. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Hand deal, folks. Oh, we got it done. Breathe. Stretch those abs out. Good. And post up to the left arm. Side seal. Stretch right through here. Good job today. Wasn't too bad, right? Switch sides.
Good. Let's flip it back over to the hands and knees. Take your left arm, reach under your body, left shoulder to the floor, right here. Heart rate is slowly coming down. Switch sides. Right here. Push up from your hands and knees. Walk your hands out. Keep your hip over your knees and push your armpits to the floor. Hip is up nice and high. Breathing. Good. Press back up to the hands and knees. Tuck your toes. Let's push the tailbone up. Heels down as best as you can. Good. And walk your hands back. Walk your feet in and roll it up. And thank you for joining me today. Great job today, everybody. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, let me know.